to go out and talk about our life, catch up. But then, yes, I decided to go back home. And my home was, was just empty. I was alone. And this made me just thinking again about, about my life in the UK, about my life, yes, in my previous life in Italy. And then I just looked at the window and I saw some beautiful birds just sitting there. And I was like, wow, life is just beautiful. Let's appreciate the small things. And then I decided to book my next trip. Yes, I just saw this, uh, this advertise online and I booked a trip to go to Sicily. And I will go. <laughs> Back to you, thank you. <laughs> deliver the short term evaluation. I think me, Angela Cook. That was an amazing story. I, I too am a traveler and I, I see that you're speaking about the lonely times, the friendly times, the awesome times, the cold times, and you did a marvelous job in speaking very clearly and organized speech and giving us a, a hope for the future by telling us about your, your booked next trip because you saw the three beautiful birds. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much, Angela. And I want to uh, give a big round of applause to all the table speakers, table topics speakers, and to all the evaluators because today was very difficult. Well done. Thank you very much, Table Topics. Master Julian Cereceda, as promised, what a section. And now it's time, whoops, to listen to our Tiber report. Um, Heidi, would you like to tell us about the different um, times, please, that all the speakers had? Thank you. Of course, Ma, that's why I'm here. Thank you so much, everybody. I will give the topics and the shotgun evaluations in order. Ken, 47 seconds. Brian shotgun, 52 seconds. Pilar's topic speech, two minutes and two. Yanis, 59. Ola, two minutes and two. Colette, 46 seconds. Iju, two minutes and seven. And Angela, 39 seconds. Well done, everybody. And back to you, Ma. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Heidi. And now it's time to invite you to our second tip for this digital well being topic today. This time, let's be mindful about our eyes and about our sight. So, my recommendation is that we move our eyes away from the screen, at least for 20 seconds. If you have a window just next to you or near you, just go and feel free to enjoy the view outside. 20 seconds to move them around. I don't want to see anyone looking at the camera. Just stretch your eyes, roll them if you want, your eyeballs rolling if necessary. And let's be mindful our, about our health. Great, I can see, yes, that stretching of the eyes, fantastic. Okay, and when you're ready to come back and to continue enjoying the show, let's move on now that our sight and our brain had a break. Time for a transformative section of the meeting, full of opportunities to grow. Evaluations. 
Our first evaluator today, DTM Philip Gomez, has been a Toastmasters for pff, more than 20 years and has been in all positions of the executive committee, some positions more than once, even more. He's sponsored an online club, Genesis Online. So congratulations for that, Philip. And now it's time to listen and enjoy that evaluation. Let me welcome Philip with a big round of applause, please. Thank you, thank you, Toastmaster today. On contact and deck on his speech, who mentored me, he said that his only desire is to simply aim for entertainment, value, charm. If he accomplishes that, he has met his criteria. Now, Deck did a fantastic speech. He drew us in with his matter of fact, typical entertainment type of voice and the very cool manner in which he got over his points. He told us about how his first mentor and how I think he got into the entertainment business from the radio side. Of course, London Palladium, everybody knows about that, at least those who live in England. I even used to watch it on a Sunday night. Now, the one thing I think he should work on is that just in the beginning, he walked up and down a little bit too much for me. I personally found it a little distracting. Also, at the ending of his sentences, his voice tend to tail off, and at times I could not understand what he said. Unfortunately, we did not get to his conclusion. So I would advise Deck in my lowly position that he has to work on his timing ensure when you give a speech is not only about your content, but also to summarize it in such a way that it will fill the lot of time. And as our time was said earlier on, we cannot steal from anyone else. It's time, so timing is very important. And uh, I think that is a challenge. And uh, it was great. You were very entertaining. You had all our, our attention. And of course, on your background, you had asked for entertainment. So you were pushing yourself as well. But a very, very good speech deck. Just, we would love to hear your conclusion. Toastmasters to the meeting. Thank you, thank you so much, Philip. And as you said, we missed that conclusion. Maybe in a future speech, we'll get to that conclusion, hopefully. Now let's continue with our second speech evaluator today. This is none other than Toastmaster Audrey Yingli. She says that we are bombarded with the data and she thinks that it became worse with COVID. 19. She remembers at the beginning of the pandemic, she was 24 hours checking the news and it made her feel stressed, overwhelmed. Now she's limiting herself to watch the news no more than once per day. Also, she thinks that self-care is important and it's not just about going to the spa or eating healthy food, but it's also about dealing with our interaction with digital technology. And therefore, for that, she does a digital cleanse from time to time, switching off from social media, doing some activities off the screen, like going for a hike and enjoying Mauritius fauna and flora. Furthermore, she also unfollows accounts that make her feel negative. Let's take notes, many things to learn there. Now, let me welcome Toastmaster Audrey with a big applause, please.
Thank you, Toastmaster Mar. Fellow Toastmasters, guests, and dear Azra. Before joining DCOM, I had a chat with uh, Toastmaster Azra, and she indeed demonstrate her coaching leadership style by giving me guidance and support to become a member. Tonight, you shared your leadership style with us, and you also delivered an amazing speech. Toastmaster Azra, I really liked that you, throughout your speech, you interacted with us, the audience, by asking questions, and it helped us to keep an attention on your speech and you. I also really liked that you talked in a clear way and you had a good pace. It was easy to understand your speech. It was easy to understand what you said. You also shared your coaching style with us by explaining, giving definition and giving us examples on what project you were working. Now, how can we help you to bring your speech to the next level to make you a better facilitator. I have two tips to give you. The first one is show some emotion. Play with the pitch to display, to help you display some emotion. I'll give you an example. I used to think that leaders or special people, born with special qualities that I do not possess. Did you get my point? And the second one would be use the whole screen. You can go to the side, go in front, go backward, use the, the whole screen. Um, to help you uh, demonstrate, to help you um, give your speech. In summary, I'll say you delivered tonight an amazing speech. You fulfill the purpose of your speech, which was to identify your leadership skills and share aspect of your leadership skills. Well done, over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Audrey. What a deep and rich and enriching uh, evaluation for Azra and for all of us. So thank you very much. And last but not least, we are going to introduce our third speech evaluator today, Toastmaster Hilary Torn. She keeps a healthy relationship with digital tech thanks to Mindfulness, yes, mindfulness, staying in the present moment, especially when spending time with the people she loves most. As you can tell, there are lots of food for thought to enhance this type of relationship. And now let me welcome Hillary to the virtual stage, please. Thank you, Toastmaster Mar. Hello, fellow Toastmasters guests and Kavita. This speech is so important. We need something transformative when it comes to sustainability. So first off, thank you for choosing such an important topic. You are an absolute joy to listen to. I was at the edge of my seat at the very end. So when you got cut off, I was like, oh, so please, please send me the rest of your speech because I do want to hear it. You did a great job of incorporating the visual aids throughout your whole speech. I really, really liked it that you had them to the right of you and they sometimes came in full screen and sometimes they were sitting there with you. I thought that was a great way to keep, keep it very interactive with the audience. You requested on how to simplify the content a bit. 
One suggestion I would recommend is trying to simplify the beginning a little bit. I feel like, and perhaps this is just me and my perception, we've had very hot summers here. Last year, my state in where I grew up, California was on fire. Australia has been on fire. We have the flooding in Germany. I think using visual aids of these natural disasters, which you did a little bit, I really like the ones with humans, humanizing it a bit and bringing it in a bit. You could have shortened the beginning of the problem. I feel like more people are aware and focused more on the solution because that's what I wanted to hear. How can I up my game in sustainability? Another tip when it comes to the visual aids is simplification. I find, found myself really reading the visual aids, reading the graphs, what does this mean? If you could have taken them and shortened them and digested them a little bit more for me, so I was more paying attention to your words and not trying to dissect the visual, visual aids, I think that would have really helped bring it all home together. It was a really great speech. I'm looking forward to hearing the end of it. I look forward to hearing future speeches of yours. You, you're a fantastic speaker. Thank you so much for taking on this important topic. Oh, thank you very much, Hillary, for that evaluation and food for thought for Kibita and all of us indeed. Now, it's time to continue our evaluation portion. So please, Toastmaster Heidi, would you like to share the times of these transformative evaluations, please? I certainly will, Madam Toastmaster. Philip, two minutes, 41. You will notice a theme here. Audrey, two minutes, 51. Hilary, two minutes, 41. Congratulations to all, Madam Toastmaster. Thank you so much. So well done to all of our evaluation as, um, evaluators tonight. And now let's continue with our next report, the Grammarians report. So please, Antonia Harrison, would you like to share with us your linguistically speaking report? Thank you, Toastmaster Ma. Yes, fellow Toastmasters, and especially those of you who have spoken tonight, let's start with the word of the day. I heard four people use the word transformative. Andrew, Azra, and Hilary all used it once, and Ma just went overboard. She used it four times. In fact, she used it three times in one sentence almost. Let's get the filler words out of the way. Ma, again, used you know three times. It's easy to do. Yes, I'm afraid. And Ichu, you also used one you know and like. You know, like as in teenagers speak like, no good English, try not to use it. I like the way the timer said, we cannot steal time from anyone else. The good language. Well, I loved Andrew's, what's the shortest word uh, question? And that was, of course, feedback. I knew that one, by the way. Deck, started with a pregnant pause. What a good excuse, eh? <laughs> for not starting immediately. And uh, he told us about the real life version of Miss Jean Brody, the wonderful Maggie Smith. Style, 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 repetition, use that twice. He talked about makeup on the radio. Well, it makes you feel better, doesn't it? So why not? Tiny Tubby, that man with a clipped hairstyle. And the enchanted palace of the London Palladium. Isn't it just wonderful? Azra talked about, you thought leaders were special people born with special qualities, but you've just discovered that we can all be leaders. There were two or three things that you mentioned which were not quite perfect English, and I'm just going to mention them because your English is so good. You said encouraging, it's encouraging and suitable, it's suitable. 
I don't know what the rules are for emphasis in English, but anybody who's learned English as a foreign language will know that better than me. Kavita, you brought us a gift. Ken, where do I start? Everything he said was wonderful, wasn't it? Shades of white, caress, beautiful leaves, hope in the horizon, life in the crystals of water. Ola, in the glow of the light, prayers to my creator for unity. And Ichu, life is beautiful. Let's appreciate small things. And Ma invited us to stretch our eyes. I shall remember that. Back to you, Toastmaster Ma. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Antonia. Yes, stretch our eyes. And that's what we should do from time to time when we are in front of the screen. Now, it's time for our special open feedback. So let's welcome DTM Andrew Bennett to the virtual stage to enlighten us with this amazing section. So please, Andrew Bennett, the floor is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Ma. Digital communicators and wonderful guests, we are starting this open feedback at the time when we should be finishing it. But I'm going to suggest that we take two minutes per speaker. Please, if we could have two minutes on the clock per speaker. Heidi, that will help, and you just show me the red knight when we get to the two minutes. I would like to, to begin with a commendation for Deck. My commendation for Deck is that I love the way that he just grabs us through the camera lens. And I felt that he could be speaking to me in my very own living room. Now, who has another commendation for Deck, please? I'm looking for hands or who wants to unmute and just say some, Colette. I really liked um, how he could change his, his voice his tone, he could, and pace, he could go fast, slow, and then speed it up again. Great, thank you, Colette. Could we now have a recommendation for Deck, please? I'd like two recommendations, if possible. So who's got a recommendation, how Deck can improve his speech? Please. Am I, I go something? again there, please. Andrew, yeah. I'd like to say, Deck didn't give us the normal introduction for our as Toastmasters, I'd like to see him using that. You'd like to see an introduction, exactly. Ma, I think you were raising your hand as well, please, and unmute, please. Yeah, actually, I was going to state the obvious, yeah, we missed his conclusion. So we were like, okay, what's going to happen? And then that was a pity that we didn't, you know, the time was um, too short. Not really. The time was what it was, but hopefully in the future we'll be able to get to that conclusion. A pity to miss the conclusion. Exactly, yeah. Ma. Does anyone have another really nice commendation to end up on for Deck today? Yes, Kavita, please. I really like Deck's colours and the background. It was so vibrant. It was so so pleasing to watch. You know the the, the whole the whole the slide, everything about the way he presented himself. Thank you, Kavita. Yes, indeed, it was very engaging. Thank you, Deck, for your speech on mentoring. We're going to move now on to Azra's speech about leadership. And the thing that I really loved was in the first part of Azra's speech, she gave us a question that was, raise your hand if you have never done something. Usually we hear, raise your hand if you've done something. No, if you've never done something. That was a nice twist to the start of the speech. Anyone else with a recommendation for Azra now, please? Or a commendation, first of all, please. Commendations. Yes, Pamela. I really liked her topic. I would have liked if she started with a story. I liked it that she talked about her WhatsApp group, but then she kind of left off with that. So it was it was like a teaser, like we were going to learn all this information on how it worked behind the scenes. And then she went on to talk about the details of it. So tell us a story, tell us a story, and then tell us a story. Great, Pamela, the personal story connection that's so important in our speaking. Would anyone else have a recommendation for Azra? Yes, Julian? Azra asked a lot of questions, which is not a bad strategy. However, she didn't tell us how she wanted us to answer those questions on the chat aloud, and that created confusion. People were okay, what do I do now? How do I answer? In the online environment, asking questions 
is a bit more tricky than in brick and mortar meetings. Yes, so clarity in the way that we're asked to give our response, Julian, exactly. Thank you for that comment. Does anyone have a nice commendation for Azra? As we're coming to the end of time. Yes, Yanis, our guest. Um, what I really enjoyed is something which is very difficult in Zoom meetings, which is how to interact with the chat. So it, it is very difficult for someone to write something in chat and while you, you speak to check it out, which is, I, I find it very difficult to do it for myself at least. Thank you, Yanis. Indeed, it is difficult. So well done to Azra upon her leadership speech for us this evening. We're going to move on now to Kavita's speech on sustainability. And something that I really appreciated was the offer that we can all have this speech presentation to share with others. It's the first time I've heard that actually done within Toastmasters, someone giving their speech away. So that was a great commendation for starting off for you. And here comes someone else with a commendation, please, for Kavita. Let's see some hands or unmute. Yes, Ken, was that you? Yes, it was. Lovely. I really like the topic she chose and the real life examples. It it transcended just an academic exercise. It had some emotional feel to it. So thank you very much for that. Thank you, Ken. Thank you for your comment. Some recommendations, please, for Kavita. Yes, Julian. Kavita, I have to congratulate you because you have rock today, much better than the previous time. The practice was there. However, you run out of time. How can you make sure that you run on time? Thinking what you are saying. I think in my opinion that you give many sentences that do not add anything to the speech, that are filler sentences. You to get time to think or, or to get brief. So think about those and remove them. Overall, very well done, Kavita. Thank you, Julian. So selection of words, being selective and going back to our script and revising our script as well when we've given the speech more than one time, maybe. Any more recommendations there? Just one more recommendation. Yes, Pamela. I really liked how she opened up with the poll and then she had different segments of people, people who were really good at sustainability and people who were not so good about sustainability. So I think her call to action was for all of us to take ownership of this topic and then take away. I would have liked it to hear how she would have encouraged the people who feel passionate about sustainability and the people that aren't so good at it. So when she taught, when she entered, started with that poll, I would have had a story for both groups and then merged it to a call to action on how we can all work. I think there was a lot of numbers. I think there was a lot of charts, a lot of graphs. I think you probably need a 30 minute to 40 minute session with all that information. I'm a numbers girl, I love numbers. But if you only have five to seven, you have to pick and choose. And what I would choose is the stories that could keep your audience coming back, coming back, coming back. So breadcrumbs through the forest to get your audience to want to listen to more of your sustainability. Great comments. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you to everybody who's participated in this open feedback session tonight. We're handing back now to Toastmaster Ma because we must end this meeting on time, folks. But great comments. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you very much, Titiama and Andrew Bennett for that section. And to end, of course, we have the honor to receive some more feedback about the overall meeting from Toastmaster Vincent Neri, who, you know, um, just said that it's not an easy question to answer about his relationship with tech, but probably he uses digital technology in good measure. Now, once at that, let me welcome Vincent with a warm round of applause, please. Thank you so very much, Ma. I will try to speed this up very fast. First of all, commendations, recommendations. I would have liked to see the agenda in the chat box. And talking about the chat box, I would like you to use it while people are speaking, try not to use it. And if you send a personal message, Pamela, then send it to the person, not send the message to everybody. Oh, going over time. We have, but we have gone over time by almost eight minutes. And I think, Ma, you are a bit responsible for that. Because if you look at your uh, the agenda, which I looked in the, in the email, you were allocated five minutes all in all. 
and you you did lovely things. You introduced tips. Um, you, you helping us to fight Zoom fatigue. Um, you were, made us all very welcome. But obviously, instead of using five minutes, you used twelve, and that has been eating into both Andrew and my role. I enjoyed very much the fact that our table 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 topics master used a uh, a signal, an acoustic signal to tell people that the, um, that the um, shotgun revolution are going to start. I would have preferred this acoustic signal also instead of cutting people off. I think it is not friendly. I think it's really rude if we cut people off while they're giving a speech, because sometimes we, they don't look at the timer. They might not have a pin timer. And particularly if, we, if then the person who tells the people we have to cut you off goes over time, that is sort of um, contradictory. I love the transformative word of the grammarian. I loved the heartfelt evaluation from Phil. And I adored the short word with the letters A, B, C, D, and F. And this is all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vincent. Toastmaster Vincent for that report, short report. And I apologize if I took that much time. But anyways, we are just getting to the end of our meeting. I had another tip to share with you, just the last one. So just quickly, just make sure that we can get away from the screen third, like about an hour before going to sleep to have a nice, nice rest. And once said that, Let's keep a healthy relationship with digital tech and let's be mindful. Now, let me welcome our presiding officer, yeah, to actually close the meeting. Toastmaster Colette, the floor is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Maracano. Thank you, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests, Iju, Yanni, and Angela. I have just three quick dates for your diary. We will be having a joint meeting with Manchester Communicators on August the 30th, and there will be an educational theme to that. On September the 13th, we will have the Table Topics and Humorous Contest. Please think about, do you want to enter this contest or can you get involved? And third date for your diaries is Monday, September the 27th. We hope to host a charter party more information and, and on. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you.